fellow Merfolk and Merfolk-to-be, my name is Faith, and today I'll be reviewing the Mahino Monofin. So this is a large rubber model fin from Australia. The company Mahina Mermaid was founded a while ago by a professional mermaid who wanted to make mermaiding safe and accessible for everyone. These fins are made out of recycled rubber for children and adults and are one of the safest out there. They come in three sizes, the merfin, like the classic merfin, the junior merfin, which is like a smaller version of the adult size, and the little merfin, which is made with a combination of plastic and rubber. I've wanted one of these for a long time and I'm really excited that they sent one for me to review. I do own one other rubber monofin, the Mirage, also from Australia. This one is, whew, it's not as good as the Mahina, let me tell you that. But enough of my preamble, like all my other reviews, I will be reviewing it on cosmetics, comfort, durability, customer service, and performance. So here we go! So cosmetics, 9 out of 10. So let's take a close look at this fin. It's a gorgeous teal color, streaked with lots of yellow and gold rubber as well. It's got these really nice little fluke lines, and the back, it's got a very strong ridge, which enables you to propel faster through the water. You can see it's embossed Mahina on here, as well as this cute lipstick mark on the back of this fin and some safety information on the heel. I thought that this would be a little bit of a brighter color. It seems like it's not quite the color that they have advertised online, and you can't actually really see the yellow from far away, especially when you're swimming in the water. But other than that, I love this. Some people don't really like the shape. They don't think that the fluke tips should curl out this way, but I love it. You really can't beat the Mahina in their mermaidy shape. In the water, this model fin flows like a dream. The fluke bends and flows very naturally and curly and and I love the way that the fluke tips flick up in the water. It's just gorgeous. So now we're moving on to comfort. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Lots of people had told me beforehand, oh my gosh, you're going to get like blisters and foot cramping and you're going to break all your ankles. And to be honest, I didn't really experience any of those unfun foot injuries. When I spoke to them over Skype, they said definitely wear neoprene socks with it because blistering will occur just because of the materials. That's uh, something that's going to happen. So I was very careful to wear socks with my monofin. I didn't own my first swim, but I did uh, all the other times I swim after and I really didn't get anything. My foot cramping was as normal like I get in any other model fin. So I actually don't own neoprene socks. I just use actually regular socks like regular fabric socks and they work with my model fin. The only downside is they feel a little weird in the water as opposed to neoprene which would probably be a lot more skin tight and good for swimming but honestly like I don't care. I just swim with this model fin in a way that feels good. The fin is slightly large on my tiny feet so there is a little bit of room for my ankles to rub on these straps. Other than that, it's really not too bad comfort-wise. Alright, so durability, 10 out of 10. This fin is made to last. This fin is made of the highest quality and I doubt that it'll ever stretch or break on me. My previous rubber model fin, the Mirage, it uh, didn't have rubber straps, it just had two nylon straps and actually this hole that holds one of them in place snapped. But this one, the entire model fin is made of solid rubber so I don't really think there's any chance that this will stretch or break. It's definitely reinforced with some rubber on the heel and this little Y section so you got no worries. Now some people say that uh, these fluke tips, because they're very narrow, they can bend. And that's just because if you store it improperly, that just happens. Uh, you can easily bend it back into place with just some hand strength. And as well as when you're swimming in the water, you're not going to notice because they're just going to go with the flow of your monofin. It's pretty good. You don't need to worry about your fluke tips bending. All right, customer service, 10 out of 10. I have a huge amount of respect for Mahina Mermaid and their entire company. First of all, their website is incredible and their entire branding aesthetic is very bold and beautiful. It promotes a sense of fluidity and freedom connecting with the ocean. Secondly, they're very integral in their business. They care more about ocean conservation than the bottom line, which is very important. They value ocean activism and make sure that all their products pass safety standards and testing. Now the fin is rather pricey, uh, being a very large specialty item, but I think uh, if you've got the means, it's definitely worth it. It's a very high quality product. This one cost me about $100 and it's nowhere near what this model fin can do. They have a warehouse in Seattle that has some of their products that makes it more accessible for Murray's in the US in Canada like me. So actually from the point of when they said they were going to ship out my order, it only took about a week to get to my post office in Canada, only for me to be met with import fees, but that happens. All right, so now we're moving on to the performance. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, so this fin is like a mermaid dream. I've had seven other types of model fins, and this one is honestly the most mermaid. Well, it might not be as propulsionate as the cat or as easy to use as the fin fun. Holy moly, this thing works so well in the water. Some of my friends have used it and been like, like, oh my gosh, it's so easy to go fast in this. It allows for water to flow through effectively as well as over these ridges. Uh, the model fin, it has a decent amount
amount of resistance and propulsion in the water. It more definitely rolls with the water, but it allows you to go very fast because obviously it's so huge. Something like this is going to power you through the water very quickly just because of its giant size. It's a little bit of a thicker, stiffer rubber on the body of the fluke right up till this point where it starts getting a little floppier. The weight of the monofin out of the water is about 4.3 pounds. It actually doesn't sink. If I leave it in the water, it'll just stay there and then slowly, slowly, slowly float to the surface. The foot pockets work very simply. You stick your feet inside. You just gotta kind of pull the strap, get it over your heel. To take it off, super easy, light tug on your feet and you are out. This is definitely a very high performance monofin. Now I know that people are going to ask where you can get tail skins for this product and the answer is kind of eh, no. First of all, it's so big it really won't naturally fit in any average tail skin. I do not endorse the Mahina product to be used in conjunction with any other products that are not issued by Mahina Mermaid, meaning other mermaid tails. Now they do sell a variety of scale printed leggings, especially for little girls who want to achieve the full mermaid effect. This is a decision on their part for the safety of children using monofins. They don't want to ruffle anyone's scales and completely like oppose uh, full tail mermaiding, but they do recommend that people who want to pursue full tail mermaiding are adults who are highly proficient in water, such as lifeguards or freedivers. Hey look, that includes me. Um, but for now, I think I'm honestly just going to use this Mahina monofin without a tail skin because I love the way it looks in the water. You don't want to cover this up. Like, do I not look like a mermaid anyways? I think it's a perfect opportunity for me to show off my shorts by Virtuoso. And as well, I've used them with my leggings from Mermaid Tail Party, which I think work wonderful in the water too. When it comes down to it, mermaiding is a great experience no matter what you look like or what type of tail you have. So my total score for this model fin is 47 out of 50. That's a 94%. That's an A. I think that's an accurate grade for this model fin. It's definitely one of the most mermaid-y model fins I have and I absolutely cannot wait to take it out on adventures on the lakes of Canada this summer. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel as well as my second channel that I made for more mermaid adventures. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and leave a comment below about any questions you have about this model fin or other products that you want me to review. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye! Okay. Oh, someone commented on my post in Mermaids in Canada. How do the footholds work? Is the fin more rubbery? Uh, it's, it's definitely made of rubber, Allie. <laughs>